That was a lot better. Oh, there we go. There's not a whole lot of stretch on the band. Stretch. That was much better. Heel up, push. That's what he needs to push. He's not pushing his hip. Hey, you know what, James? Those look good, though. You're just, you know what it's showing you, that your, your block is coming late. That's better. See how it, the angle is not up, it's out. Now it's a lot more juice. It's all right. So it's heel up, push, and rotate. Here's what a lot of people are doing. That was closer. See, that was better. Stretch reflex is what makes you go to the pillar two automatically. Not bad, you're, you're moving that right side. Yes, much better. It's closer. Let's go, lock up the right side, Karsten. That was a lot better. Don't bend your butt back to get over it. You were falling over it. That was right. There we go. Now go. Yeah. You go, Jackson. Stretch, stretch. Not bad. What do you think of that? That was better. Look where you're set up. Not starting over here. Nope. So you don't. You're not winding correctly. That was much better. Yep. Do you feel the difference? Do what I'm showing you right now. Those feel good, don't they? Go hold it. Sink in the middle. Sink. That's where we're moving. All right, so we're two thirds of the way through our first day. We're gonna finish with a gym session here. So this is our elite advanced throwing chain reaction integration camp. So basically what that means is everybody who's here at this camp has already come to camps, done private coaching. And the goal here is to focus on finding those specific issues with each pillar and the reason for that. Now we're teaching in the fine details of it. So that's the point of these uh, weekend long camps. They start out like Friday night with video and then we train all day and we kind of find the problems and we isolate things and we teach things and we point things out and we make sure they understand why they're occurring and then tomorrow we'll spend our time kind of building on all that going right to the full throw and the chain reaction I think again a lot of discovery stuff this first day really understanding what they're doing and how to create those fixes and then tomorrow we'll spend time working on those fixes and usually the changes are pretty significant so it's always interesting If it's out here, it's swinging up. That's inefficient. Boom, boom. Drop it down to the knee and go straight up. That was good. So you'll get this. And that's gonna make your, how many, how many times do you guys do this? Your traps feel really, really sore. So the key is I like to teach everybody tighten the lats, pull my hips into position. Now go ahead, now clear the path. Yeah, you feel how the bar's on your thigh now? Tighten up, yep. See that little baby move? Chest up, good, better Nick. And then what I'm gonna do is tighten my lats and pull myself into position, which creates. So for people who don't understand how to engage their lats, there you go, see that, good. There we go, you feel the difference? So you're firing, tighten the lats, yep, good. 
tight lats. See the difference where the bar is? So you drop your hips and you push against the bar. That was better. So uh, end of day one, long day, started out 8.30, just finished up about 5.30. Throwing chain reaction system, of course, pillar connection, showing those finer details. A lot of uh, teaching points came into the weight room. We kind of always show it down. There's like three core areas that tend to be re repetitively tight. We went through kind of the basis of setting up your uh, Olympic lift successfully, addressing some shoulder flexibility and some assistance lifts, and just working on some basic things, and then showing a couple things on a basic, like a core movement landmine twist, and showing how we create separation and create the stretch through the obliques the same way we need to do in a throw, so that way what we're doing in the Weight room has that carry over into the ring. So anyway, really great day one. It's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. See you on the next vid. Okay. Yeah. That was better.